Howdy do, everybody, howdy do. It's noon time here at the Sword Nation in Arizona headquarters. Good Wednesday! Woo boom, boop, ba doom, boop, ba doom. Who's the first one in the room? Say do da, do da, or hello. You know, hey, what's up? You know, whatever floats your boat. Just let me know. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wednesday at noon, it's time for the catacombs. Where I go through the underground of Coffin Comics headquarters, digging around, finding some classics and some new stuff for you guys. So, anywho, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me get hydrated. I am so thirsty today. Whoo! Hope is everyone's having a good week. I hope it's flying by. Got some fun stuff to announce for you guys, some very fun stuff. It's a really beautiful day here in sunny Arizona. What's up, Ace? How you doing, man? How was your weekend? Fayette, how's uh, your week going? I hope it's flying by. It's hump day Wednesday, it means a couple days to the weekend. Uh, I was actually thinking about camping this weekend, but we got a lot of rain and possible snow. Uh, up in the areas where we normally go, so I think I'm gonna skip out because I don't want to be muddy and wet for two days straight in the wilderness. No, no, that's not for me. That's not for me. <laughs> Anywho, Ace, do you have any plans for your weekend at all? Anything you're planning to do? Woo hoo hoo! I'm sure you guys are probably getting some snow too. Oh. You step on in, go ahead and give me a grin and say hello. No. No, let's not do that. My phone just asked me if I wanted to interview myself while I'm doing the show, which I thought would have been pretty cool, um, but really creepy. Good, good. Did you do anything special? Are you planning to do anything? Um, I think uh, this weekend is going to be like, you know, house cleaning, laundry. <laughs> That type of fun stuff. Anywho, uh, I've got some fun stuff to announce to you guys. We are four weeks away, four weeks from Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Kickstarter. And we are doing an Ultimate and Legend Artist. So, um, some announcements. I'm going to work this weekend. I'm sorry. When do you have days off? Are they during the week or just uh, weekends only? Man, my eyesight's getting bad. Wow. I'm getting really old. <laughs> so real quick, two weeks, Wednesday, February 17th at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time here at Coffin Comics HQ. We'll be launching um, Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty number one. So everyone, please join us. I know you're going to. It's always fun for those who have uh, been here for our Kickstarter launches. Um, make sure uh, it's fun for everyone. Uh, and we are always full of surprises. Like right now, we have announced... Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty number one ultimate edition cover artist, Eisner Award winning creator of the goon, Eric Powell. Now, Jimmy and I were, uh, showed you all this on Monday. Holy crap. Um, we both agree that um, the skulls and, and what Eric Powell did for her hair is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. We both have never seen anything like that. Um, so. Eric Powell um, is joining our Kickstarter campaign. That's right. Here's the first look at that, that image. It's beautiful, beautiful image. Eric Powell. Great, great. This is so good. This is so good. I'm excited. I'm having a total comic book nerdgasm right now. That's beautiful. But wait. We've got more. we got more to say. We've also announced... The uh, Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Legend Edition artist, CEO of Top Cow and Image, Mark Silvestri. Boom. Take a look at that beautiful piece of work. 
This is the Legend Edition that will be part of our Kickstarter launching on February 17th. Mark Silvestri is doing a new cover. This is beautiful. This is some really great news. Hey, Alex. Welcome to the show. How are you? So, yeah, really great news, but we have also have so much more to announce. Um, we're definitely, I love seeing um, everyone's unboxing. And also, Shelly uh, Gagon. Oh, I'm sure I'll say that. Uh, Gaganon? Really cool name. Um, she laid out all of her uh, pretty amazing books she got from us. She got the Jeweled Edition, Shannon Mayer, and she's got the really beautiful hollow foil right there. This is stunning. Probably one of the most beautiful hollow foil covers I think we've done. Um, beautiful piece. But I also loved it too. Because I do this when I, uh, I think I, when I've done some eBay shoots or when I did some of the shows from home. I had my feet included. <laughs> so I thought that was a cool touch. I really like that. Um, it reminded me of doing some of the shows at home where I'm filming something and, you know, you see my socks or my bare feet. You know, my hobbit looking feet. So, uh, Shelly, thank you for sharing. Uh, keep these posts coming. Uh, I, all you folks are also getting in statues. Show us the pictures. Um, if you have any issues or anything coming in, go to inquiries at coffincomics.com. That is where the mighty moonshine Mel will be there to help you. She's the best customer service rep in the world. Thank you very much. Also, thank you guys all out. Uh, I've seen some uh, people definitely prop and mail so everybody uh, moonshine mail uh, she's out there answering your questions trying to get all your problems resolved um, and it's all her man she does an amazing job so if you get a chance round of applause thank you moonshine uh, you're doing an amazing job and uh, I've seen some people reply saying how happy they are uh, with the customer service they have so uh, props to moonshine mail and like I say, if you have any questions with your order or anything at all, if you want to ask me a question, uh, you can either ask it here, Hooligan, friend me on Facebook, uh, Hooligan Moraga, send me a message there. Or even um, sometimes people have requested I look for certain items for them uh, that may have been on the catacombs and I've taken them down. Inquiries at coffincomics.com. I'll get back to you. Also, uh, Jeff Monet posted his photo, and I really like this. I mean, you got an eye for uh, laying out your stuff, man. That is a beautiful photo. I really liked uh, your picture here. And I loved how you, the placement of the t-shirt right in the middle. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful books. Look at all those beautiful books you got. I see you got a couple of the uh, sets here. Um, oh, we got one of the uh, Chase editions over here, Lenticular. Um, I love looking at this stuff, guys. Thank you so much for sharing. We really do appreciate it. And like I say, we can't... Do what we do without your support. So thank you guys. Uh, real quick, um, Scott Weber uh, showed us his. He got the homages uh, special edition. Signed special editions, which I believe we are all out. So thank you. Uh, thank you for supporting us. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying the homages. All right, how much sacrilegious uh, Kickstarter updates? Just to let you all know, uh, I have worked on the uh, metallic jewels, so those are uh, in-house. They have been made by myself and Shannon the Great. We have those ready, so uh, everything's coming together. It's all growing, getting taller. All the beautiful books, all the beautiful art, all the covers. Oh my God, it's, I can't wait to start picking these orders for you guys. It's really great, but uh, I wanna share the image of the Hell Witch. Uh, this is the Anthony Spay Nice Edition. This will be a uh, mystery envelope item, if I'm correct. So that's one of the items we came in. So here's some of the other ones that we got in as well. So everything's coming in. Everything's looking beautiful. And soon we'll be getting them out into your guys' hands. Jeff Walsh. Hey, Greg. <laughs> Greg, thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, look at all you beautiful people. Jeff, sorry I've been ignoring your uh, little post. Rick, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Rick Burns, it'll be announced. There's, um, I want to save some of that fun stuff for uh, Brian, but uh, stay tuned. There's uh, going to be a lot of cool stuff going on uh, with 
uh, this new uh, Lady Death Kickstarter in four weeks. I can't believe it. We're already, what, the 20th? January 20th already. Uh, also, quick shout out to Josh Grinsley. Hey, uh, I gotta head out to the post office and take care of this stuff, so um, haven't forgotten you yet. Gotta get taken care of. Bob is in the house, everybody. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Jeffrey Walsh, of course. Ace, Rick, uh, Alex. Good to see you again. Everybody, Alex. God, you people are beautiful. Gosh, let me show you some of the stuff we have in the catacombs. Um, I want to say also, um, oh, okay, thank you, Dakota, for getting everything uploaded in such quick, quick time. So, uh, round of applause to Dakota. She's done an amazing job. All right, first things first, I got some classics to show you. You know what? No, I'm going to switch it up a bit. I'm going to start off with some new stuff I got for you guys. First things off, I got Lady Death Hell Raiders, number one, CGC Signature Series. This is Don McTeague Necro Sketch Edition. B -b 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 -b. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I love the uh, Necro Sketch lines. They are some of the most beautiful covers we do. Uh, this was a um, publisher file, so I'll be putting a publisher file a COA inside the back of that too. And if you guys uh, want to shout out anything to pull closer to you guys, please ask, 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 ask. So this is probably one of our more popular images. So I thought it was so nice. I put up two for you. Maybe three. We'll see. But I have two graded editions of the Lady Death Swarm number one. These are CGC signed uh, by Don McTague. These is the BP edition. I will throw in a COA with that. And I have another BP edition. Two BPs! That's right, double it up. I see some people are like, oh no. So I had two of these, so I figure, hey, let's go ahead and put them uh, both up at the catacombs. They are two BP editions, signed by Don McTagg. Beautiful, beautiful covers. Of course, what did you expect? It's Coffin Comics. We try to give you guys the most beautiful books you've ever seen. Jay Taylor! Round of applause, everybody. Jay Taylor's in the house. Virtual round of applause to you, Jay Taylor. Good. Thank you for joining us. Wouldn't be a show without you, brother. Um, did you bring headphones so you can hear <laughs> while we're doing the show? <laughs> all right. Let's get over to some other uh, fun stuff I have found for you all. All right. This is, this is nice. I got a uh, Lady Death Visions Naughty Edition. I have one of these available right now here at the Catacombs. And um, I thought we, I only was going to be able to see one of these um, inside um, our little hallway here. We have a little um, frames of a lot of our uh, books that we published over the years. And I've seen this in there. I didn't think I'd ever uh, be able to find one, but I did. I have the Apocalyptic Abyss. Scarlet Edition, it's number four, so this is from the vault. It's a number four out of 20. <laughs> so check it out right here on the catacombs. Brush my hair. Catacombs. All right. And then I also figured, you know what? I have one of these. It was uh, something... Um, that was going to be part of the con stock, and you know what? I figured I'd present them to you. I have the Lady Death Sworn Naughty Vixen set. This set I put up here in the catacombs is signed by Brian Polito. So this is a set that includes the Naughty Lace Edition by Sabine Rich, and the Naughty Horns by the amazing Don McTagg. This uh, was always offered as a set originally uh, via Kickstarter. So I had one of these in one of my old con stock boxes. Figured I'd go ahead and put that up here and offer it up to you all you beautiful people. Dude, man, Jay, you're probably, um, you're, you're I, I would definitely hate to have your job, but if I was in the area, yeah, I'd work for you for with you for a week just so we can hang out, have a good time, and try to take some of that workload off your shoulders, big guy. So yeah, it's the least I could do. 
All right, now we're on to the classics. Um, getting down to the last of the Avatar Lady Death items I will be offering uh, coming up. I say probably a couple more weeks. I'll be all out of what I can offer you. So, if I happen to sell out on the catacombs, definitely check out the eBay store. I still have a uh, small quantities left on there. Some folks have been um, picking up stuff there that have sold out in the catacombs. They're jumping over to eBay. So you can also find this stuff at the Coffin Comics eBay store too. Um, not as much as you can in the catacombs, but just saying it is an alternative. If you're finding out and sold out, go over there or even message me uh, at inquiries at coffincomics.com. I'd be more than happy to see if I have any stuff uh, stashed in the back uh, for loss or damages or just for later use or sometimes I just find more. So uh, please let me know. I'd love to hook you up with the books uh, to complete your collection. This is Lady Death Boundless, issue five. Really good value. Four bucks. We have um, not many. I think I may have uh, 10, maybe less. Uh, a lot of this stuff I am definitely getting down to the last of the last. So um, I'm really happy to bring this home to Coffin Comics and here at the Catacombs. Another beautiful one by uh, Juan Jose Rip. Uh, this is Lady Death Boundless 5. This is the wrap cover. One of these days I'll come up with a fun rhyme for it. Maybe Jimmy and I will write one together and we'll do it um, just for the wrap covers. <laughs> really beautiful, beautiful stuff, man. Like I said, I've said it many times. I really love uh, Juan Jose's rip style. It's just something about it. I don't know. It just really catches my eye and I find him very beautiful. So, got a couple of those left there. Let's see what else do I have here uh, quantities wise. Yes, that uh, wrap cover, I have about five, six copies left. And on issue five, I'd say maybe ten, uh, if that many. Next up, got a couple copies of this. This is Lady Death Boundless, number six. I'm sitting on about seven copies of this. Really good deal. Four bucks. Check it out. Get it today. Do not delay. Once they're gone, they're gone. Whoops, that's the wrong thing to put it on. On my nice pretty little metallic shelf. Looks like I'm doing karate. Ooh. Everybody been watching Cobra Kai? If you haven't been, check it out. Holy cow, what a fun show. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did, but oh my lord. That was a great show. Uh, bummed out about the whole binging because it sucks when you gotta wait a whole year and with all the weird COVID stuff, maybe longer for your shows to return. So it's like, dang, why didn't I take my time? But it's just so good. Next up, Lady Death Boundless, issue six, Art Deco, Mike DePascal. That's quite all right, Jay. It's just great to have you here. Always great to have you people here. I like to look at it as like, yeah, I'm going to be selling you stuff, showing you some stuff, but I want to make sure it's a community and we're all having fun together. I try to make this like uh, how it was when I was running the shops. Um, I love to interact with customers. Uh, I love, that was my favorite part about doing comic shop retail is just interacting with people. And I learned a lot from the customer base. Um, I, I learned uh, about a lot of things that helped me um, utilize that knowledge to help customers later on, whether it be with role playing or, you know, graphic novels or Marvel titles, DC titles. I learned a lot from my customers and I like to have fun. So I hope you guys have fun with me. Here you go. This is a Richard Ortiz cover. This is a rap cover. It is beautiful. And it's my civic duty to make sure, hey, you don't get to see Lady Death's booty this time. Ha ha ha, yes. There you go. I miss, uh, if you haven't watched the uh, YouTube show, Jimmy uh, does some fun little graphics and quotes as I'm going along. So um, it's a lot of fun to be uh, having uh, Jimmy and I working together, uh, him behind the camera. And I hope you guys are enjoying what we're putting out because we're just having fun um, presenting this stuff. It's great. Oh, dude, you are quite welcome. Um, it was, it was, it's every so often Brandy will come in and be like, oh, hey, uh, you got to sign this book. So it's weird to sign books. <laughs> but I'm glad it, uh, it went to a go to home. And I'm very glad I was able to sign that for you. So you're very welcome, Jay. Uh, you know, and thank you for the support. Um, like I say, guys, 
We are a small company. We are the bad boys, bad girls of this industry, I feel, because um, we do it right, and we try to do it right the first time and every time. We make a mistake, yeah, we're gonna correct it and just make sure we get it right every time after that. Next up, I have Boundless number seven. Lucky number seven, this is issue seven. I think I got about eight to 10 copies available to you today. My name's Jasper. Ha! Oops, wrong box again. All right, what time have I got? <clears throat> boop, boop, what the frick? Um, who's again? You can <laughs> Yes, uh, I'll be running the booth, so yeah, you better believe it'll be me um, showing you the merch. Um, I can't wait for Swordfest. All right, next up. I have only two copies of this bad girl. Uh, this is the Lady That Found the Seven Art Deco cover. I only have two copies left. Once these are gone, that's it. Um, I believe these are the last copies. I don't think I have any more on eBay either. So a lot of this stuff, uh, the remaining stock was on eBay. Um, they def people definitely scooped them up uh, when I was posting stuff. So like I say, my issues with eBay. Um, Figure, you know what? Let's bring it home. Bring it home. I'll still keep stuff over there for you too. Next up, and I only have two of these. I wish I had more because this is a beautiful cover. It was limited to 1,500 copies originally. Uh, this is Lady Death, uh, issue seven. This is the auxiliary cover. Beautiful. This is the same artist that has been doing the art decos I've been showing you over the last few shows. Um, so holy cow. Um, I only got two left, and this is a very popular one. Uh, when I had it up on eBay, uh, it, it was flying out uh, almost weekly. I would get at least one to two orders of these a week. So this is the last of it. Goes the way of the dinosaur once it sells out. Next up, Lady Death Found the Seven. This is uh, another wrap cover. I'll show you the wrap. This is another beautiful piece. Very beautiful cover. These these wrap covers are amazing. Just amazing. Don't have many of this left. It looks like, according to my count, two, four, about five copies left, guys. And that's it. But um, that could be just the stock I have for the catacombs. Uh, check eBay if uh, something sells out or message me at inquiries. <laughs> At coffeecomics.com. All right. So the last, we have the Lady That Found This issue eight. I think I got about uh, seven to ten copies of these available as well. Oh, and I have heartburn to boot. Pardon me. Let me just get a quick drink of water. I don't want to uh, belch on camera. It'd be kind of gross. Okay, but it could be hilarious too. So, you know, there's there's that. Um, but in case, you know, some folks out there don't like belching on camera, I don't want to do that. I don't want to make anyone feel like I'm being rude or crass. So, anyways, but I am a hooligan, so. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? Uh, real quick, this is the last book I threw up on the catacombs. This is Lady Death. Issue 8, this is the Art Deco one. So, <laughs> here you are. You rock stars. So that is uh, what I have for you guys today in the catacombs. There's still some items left over uh, from Monday's uh, Coffin Comics Shopping Network show that we do on YouTube. So if you haven't, please come by, watch and shop with us on YouTube. With this scruffy, fluffy, crazy hooligan. Uh, so subscribe to the show. Subscribe to our channel. Um, we're always posting uh, new stuff. And like I say, Jimmy and I are really looking forward to uh, doing some more fun stuff for y'all on uh, YouTube. Uh, also, this is the year 2021 for Deathopolis. That will be starting February right here with the Lady Death Cataclysmic Majesty Kickstarter. That'll be chapter 13 of the Lady Death Saga here at the Coffinverse on May 2021. The second part, La Muerta Onslaught. 
in August 2021, Lady Death, Sacrificial Annihilation. Brian comes out with some tongue-twistingly epic names, I gotta say. Um, and then October 2021, the one, the title that I think is the grooviest one, Hell Witch vs. Lady Death. This is October 2021, Wargasm. That's one hell of a sexy word to say. So, Death Ocalyx, Coffin Verse, 2021. Get ready for some fun, guys. Get ready for some fun. Also, if you hadn't joined the Sword Nation, you think somebody you might know in your friends group might like us? Send them an invite. Come on in and join us here at the Sword Nation. Spread those links. Spread the love. Spread all things. Coffee Cox. All right. See what else I got. Also, for those who um, don't know in the newsletter, um, we did a uh, special spotlight on Sun K. Um, just to give you a little background on her, she is a Canadian uh, cover artist. Uh, she specializes in pinup, science fiction, horror, fantasy paintings. Sun has applied her uh, artistic skill to portray popular fictional characters in her stylistic visions. Her Lady Death covers for Coffin Comics put her on the map. And she has since done various Coffin Comics projects, including Zombie, uh, Zach the Zombie Exterminator, Hell Witch, and La Muerta. So guys, Sun K, she's doing some really amazing covers for us. Amazing art. So definitely got to check it out. What's this? What's this? Was Brian listening to L7? I don't know. I don't know. He just came in and... Um, <laughs> Uh, he just came in and uh, was telling us about his ideas, and I don't know where he came up with the name, but all I know is we all thought that was the coolest and the most perfect name um, for that uh, event. Let's see. No, I don't sign with the sad ace. I sign with my hands. Stamp. There's no way they can replicate any stamp, my signature, because um, it's just ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to ask Brian, but that would be a good question to ask Brian. Maybe uh, at the Kickstarter event when we go live, um, sometimes he reads some of the uh, questions that come out. So, you know, throw it out there. Um, but, yeah, I think it's the perfect name for the Lady Death versus Hell Witch. Epic. And every time you hear it, or, or hear someone say it, I definitely feel like, yeah, I need a cigarette after that one. So, yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. So I got two minutes. Uh, real quick, people, um, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for a wonderful week. Thank you, everybody, um, for your support. And I just want to say, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to make sure you have a good time while you're checking out all this beautiful swag I'm showing you that I pull out of my magical bags. Wow, I'm rapping. Why can't I do that with these rap covers? Ah! Anyways, I'll see you guys on Monday. YouTube, CCSN. Thank you very much. Have an amazing rest of your week. And everybody, have a beautiful weekend. I'm out. See you guys next time. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. Peace. Like that.